In this video tutorial, what I'm going to be showing you is how to get an image like this. So basically, getting a flower to appear in a water droplet. So a diffracted water droplet image, as we call it. Um, it is really, really easy. It's just setting up, and the artist's actual part is getting that droplet to, to stop in the right place. So there's a, a few tricks and the next part of the tutorial we show you how to do this and create great looking images like this. Okay so I'm going to show you how to set up the shots for these uh, diffused flower images that are in the droplets of water or in this case we're not using water. So that's the camera set up there. What we're actually using is this is which is vegetable glycerine and that just basically stops on uh, the items better than water. Water is quite tricky to get to hold onto the objects. So we've got the camera set up on a tripod. See the tripod there. Now you don't have to have this. If I was taking this outside and the light's good you don't need any of this you just need the camera. You need the object with the droplets on and the flower in the background. So we've got the flowers there in the background. We've got this what's called a third arm and that's just a little device with a crocodile clip on that allows me to touch the branch which you'll see on the on the other video on this. You'll see actually looking through the camera of that branch there. It's very hard to see on here but basically what you're doing is you're lining up the camera and it's a macro lens, you must be using a macro lens or you can use um, a normal lens and you can see this has got an extender on so I've got a, uh, a kendo extension on there just to get even closer so the droplets are bigger but basically you can use any lens that's uh, macro one to one and then along the line you've got your, your object so that's got the droplets on, you can see down at the bottom left there and then straight behind that in a line, straight line with the camera you've got your flower and that's basically it and then what I use just to make the picture much better and I've lost it so I'll just uh, find the object I'm looking for <coughs> and it's this and basically this is just an LED light and what that does when I'm taking the picture I'll actually hold this onto the flower not on the drops but actually on the flower behind the drops and that will make the flower much brighter and I can move it around to get it how I want it and you will then see how it affects the picture through the viewfinder and allow you to get the best lit subject for the for the droplet and what happens is the droplet of water actually acts like a little lens and like a wide angle lens in effect and it will show the flower in the droplet of water using this device okay so that's basically the setup now if you was doing this outside you wouldn't need uh, the tripod, you could just hand hold the camera, you could use any wild flower and basically just get an object with a droplet of water on. Make sure you've got good light because you have, must have light on the flower uh, so you need the good light on the flower. It's a nice sunny day. Put the droplets on your object and you can actually hold that with the one hand and use your camera with the other and just position it like that as long as you get the fast, fast enough shutter speed um, you know and you'll, you'll be shooting around probably F F8 if you're using a macro lens, something like that, just to get the, the object in focus. So you don't need this setup whatsoever, it's as simple as getting light on there, getting the focus. The, the hardest part is actually getting the drops on the object, that is really difficult. Right? You, you may struggle doing that, I do. Uh, so it's getting the droplets there, you want them. The glycerine really helps because with water it's really hard. Uh, you can do it with water, I've done some with water, I've done all my first ones with water, but this really helps using this glycerine because 
it's very sticky and it stops on the object because it's sticky be careful you don't get it on your camera on your hands when you're handling your camera be very careful how you use it because uh, I wouldn't like to get it on my lens okay so what I'm doing here is I'm just moving the torch around and you can see that it's differing the light so it's just a little LED torch and I'm moving it and you see the reflection in the bottom there I could probably get it better than that but it's just a quick example you know I could put more bubbles on there which we'll try after so we can get some photos you see by just moving that light now I'd hold that by hand and then take the photograph to get the light how I want it and take the photo